Hello everyone, this is Sauna Exam, and let's talk about Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Should you buy it? Should you even care? If you're new, should you check it out? If you're a returning player of the game, should you even buy the new game? Let's talk about it. The game's about you and your best friend Siori. Siori is your best childhood friend. You guys end up going to school. She's part of a literature club. She ends up uh, kind of forcing you in and then you end up becoming part of the club and you end up dating the girls. It's a pretty straightforward story, but of course it does have a twist since yes, it is a horror game. So you may be asking, so that's Doki Doki Literature Club. So what is Doki Doki Literature Club Plus? So Doki Doki Literature Plus is the same game. It's the same Doki Doki Literature Club that's free on Steam currently, but just with just some extra add-ons. Yes, they are add-ons. We'll go over each one right now. The first add-on they ended up adding was side stories. These side stories are prequel stories before the main game, meaning that you get to see, meet a lot of the characters will meet each other for the first time. You get to see how the club became what it was and everything that kind of happened before the uh, before the main sequence of the main game, which is great. If you are a returning player, this is absolutely amazing. You get a lot more substance and really learn a lot more about the characters and like the background story that which honestly really helps the main game even more. If you're if you're a new player, all this is just good extra information you go get to enjoy as well. So honestly, this is probably one this was probably the, this was this was the main thing that made me want to get want to play this or get this was because I needed more. I wanted more story. So getting more story even though it's a prequel story is absolutely amazing and that's it is such it is really a good and an amazing add-on. The game will also be on PlayStation, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch, which is great because if you didn't have a PC, you could not play this game. So, hey, nice. We're getting them on consoles. Very nice. One of the next add-ons they ended up doing was a music player. The composer of the original game who made the original music ended, ended up making completely new songs. The originals are still there, but he made completely new music from some extra scenes and they're absolutely amazing and now you can also play the scenes through a player on in the game which is awesome so if you if you were on pc it was very easy to watch them or listen to them on youtube for example however on um on console since it's, the game's on console now having a player there with people to listen to is absolutely great and i think it's absolutely amazing like it was it is really a great add-on and it can be very convenient for some people of course as well they added new secrets they also have some new images and some new wallpapers that you can get in the game so there, i think there's like what 200 plus extra new images or something so there is a lot of new images and i admit they look really good even though i personally don't care about some of the new character art personally but i it's still great and i love to have them so it, it's really awesome all this priced at 15 dollars however is, is is it really worth it that price let's talk about it i want to make this very clear I'm gonna say I'm gonna talk about some negative things with the game or with Plus in particular. However, if you haven't played Doki Doki Literature Club, the game is literally free. You could play the original, which is the which is the main story, which is what got it where it is now. You can get play that absolutely free on a PC if you have one, which I hope you do. It doesn't take a lot to run. Play. Uh, you should 100% play it. It is a experience. It is truly one of those one of those unique pieces of art, and it's free. You should really check it out. With that being said, there are some things I do have some gripes with. First of all, 50, it is $15. I mean, 15 to me is a bit high for the content we have. Yes, they did give us quite a bit of stuff. But for me, $15 doesn't really feel worth it, personally. I personally feel very around $10 would have be been more my price range, personally. And I'm no super fan or anything like that. I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm an average fan of Doki Doki Literature Club. But I would say I would say it would probably be more worth about fifteen dollars, maybe about ten dollars. I'm sorry, not fifteen. Fifteen dollars does seem a bit high. Another grab I ended up having in in the game as well was the side stories. Originally, I thought they were gonna be like maybe just extra routes you can kind of go through in the main game. However, they are not. They are prequel stuff, which is great. They do give substance. However, what w originally I thought they were gonna be, they were gonna help. There could be some extra stuff in the main story in terms of like the main main game, not like sequel stuff. So, unfortunately, so it is unfortunate. It is nice, but I was a bit disappointed. And another thing too, I want to point out is yes, there is that media player so you can listen to all the songs and everything in the game. But 
if you're playing on PC, you could you you're just gonna download those somewhere, and then oh you're gonna listen to them on YouTube, so you're good. The player, I'm never, I'm not gonna have the game open just to listen to the music when I get, when I, when I instead listen to the music already, but in other playlists with my other songs I have from other games and such. It's just not that big of a deal. With that being said, there are some things I do have some gripes with. First of all, 50, it is fifteen dollars. I mean, fifteen to me is a bit high for the content we have. Yes, they did give us quite a bit of stuff. But for me, $15 doesn't really feel worth it, personally. I personally feel like right around $10 would have been more my price range, personally. And I'm no super fan or anything like that. I'm a, I, I'm, I think I'm an average fan of Doki Doki Literature Club. But I would, say, I would say it would probably be more worth about $15. I mean, about $10, I'm sorry. Not $15. $15 does seem a bit high. And the images. Yes, they give you a lot of images. There's a lot of new images, and yes, you get them all as wallpapers you can have forever. You know, you could take pictures of them and have them and so on, right? However, someone someone's going to post all these images somewhere online. You're going to be able to get them, so you're going to be able to get these wallpapers anyways. So, with all these combined, is it really worth $15? Personally, it seems a bit high to me. And for some players that are complaining to the game and they don't know if they want to play it, $15 is a bit steep. $10, I would say, would have definitely been the been the better price point I said. However, next we're going to talk about what can you do. Should you play it? Should you play it if you're a returning player? Uh, if you're a new player? Should you buy it if you're a returning player? If you're a super fan, should you be buying this stuff? What should you do? What should you be spending your money on? And where should you? Re what should you do with all this? First, let's go over new players. If you're new, you've never seen Doki Doki, you never played it, you've maybe heard about it, everything. I first want to point out, yes, you should... Even if you don't want to pay $15, you should at least go and play the free version. The free version is out there to play on Steam. You can literally get it for free officially. You're not pirating it or anything like that. It is f the original game. The main scenario that is the main game is free. You can get it online right now and you should play it no matter what. Like, it is a piece of art. The music's absolutely easy. amazing. It's a great game. If you haven't checked it out, you should. It's short, even if you're new to visual novels. It's worth your time because it's, it's such a well-made horror game and it's also such a well-made visual novel with such good music and such. It is definitely worth playing, so do so. That being said, if you're a completely new player, you don't know if you're going to like it, I would recommend not buying the $15 one. I, I do not, I think it's worth, if it goes on sale for like 10 or anything below, it's definitely worth it if you're a new player. However, if you're not sure if you're going to like it, just go play the original Doki Doki Leisure Club, that's free. And then if you do like it, I recommend coming back and buying, uh, buy, supporting the game by buying it. However, I also re recommend something else, but I'm going to leave that last recommendation till the end. Next, let's go to um, returning players. The returning players... You play Doki Doki Leisure Club, the free one, you know, maybe you bought some merch, so on, right? Should you buy Plus? Is it worth that $15 for you? If you're a returning player and you really want the new content and you and you have bought some merch, maybe you bought some merch here and there, you know? But I, I recommend just buying the Plus if you want to get the extra content. However, if you haven't bought any merch, you really like the game and you really do want that extra content in Plus, then honestly, just uh, just buy the thirty dollars version. You'll get more bang for your buck. You'll be getting the game and basically paying fifteen dollars for merch, which is all in the same thing, which is nice. Obviously, yes, you have to have a console to do so. If you're P if you have PC only, then you have to only go for Plus. However, if you do have a console, you can play it on and enjoy the content there and want merch at the same time. You save yourself so much more money by going with the limited edition on a console. Or you you are welcome to do both, but no. So once again, if you only have PC and you want the new content, get plus. However, if you uh, if you also have an option to play it on console instead, get the console version limited edition. So you can also get some merch as well for free. And that goes both ways. You could also, if you have merch and everything, you could also still get the limited edition to just more merch. The merch in the thing alone is definitely worth it. I think personally. First of all, I, I'm sorry. If you're a new, I mean, if you're not a new player, if you're a, if you're a hardcore player, you don't you didn't need to watch this video. You didn't watch this video. You, you're a hardcore player. You're a hardcore player. You love Doki Doki. You 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 probably fap to Monica, which. 
By the way, best girl with Yuri, personally, you know, but I still like Monica, best girl. Like, you, you don't need me to tell you if this is worth your money. You probably already bought this and all that good stuff. However, you probably did something else. And you probably haven't, and a lot of people in this video watching probably like, what, what did they, what did they do? They probably look, the, they probably pre-ordered the primo, the primo edition or the limited edition one, which is the same thing, by the way. I just, i not, I think it's li called limited edition. It might be called primo edition, but a premium edition. You, they, are, they are buying that. The premium edition is just, do, is just Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, but, but for thirty dollars with a bunch of these interesting add-ons. When I, and when I say add-ons, I mean they came with like a added physical things like most limited edition games come out with. And they can, and by the way, this is on Nintendo Switch once again, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. They get the, a physical copy of the game with Monica holding the Doki Doki logo, which is really cool. Uh, we, we get a, um, a poem notebook uh, with, it, with an inner covering sheet. We get a full soundtrack download code so you can get the whole soundtrack just phys uh, digitally without having to go online too. So if you want to actually have it like on a player's stuff, which is great for players like me, you get some stickers, which is very nice, 17 of them. You get these, you get the, the you get this really cool uh, Doki Doki Literature Club membership card, which you can put your name on if you want, which is cool. It's like you're part of the club. You get this exclusive special poem written by Monica, which it's probably the original poem from the, it's probably the poem from the game, which is probably absolutely amazing. I can't wait to check it out. And then you get these little um, character um, uh, like stands. But they're like little flat boards, but they stand like little like display things. They're, they're great. It, it, honestly, everything in this limited edition is absolutely amazing. So that is my honest opinions. If you're a new, returning, or hardcore player, what you should do with Doki Doki Literature Club. And if I think it, if it was worth the money. Yes, I, I'm i an average fan of Doki Doki Literature Club. But even I realize this, it, it's truly a piece of art. And if you haven't played it, go at least play the free version, no matter what. Because... It is an absolutely amazing game. And with that being said, I gotta go, guys. I gotta have a date with someone in particular, you know. <laughs> Best girl. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff you guys usually do. And me and Monica will fat with you next time. Just to find that special day.